You'd see them at the train stations, at the Bahnhofs. You'd see them at the base theaters. You'd see them at the base athletic centers, volunteers with their coffee and donuts, and above all, with a word of welcome and cheer. My name is Enoch Woodhouse, born in Boston. I enlisted two days after high school, Boston English, May of 1944. Every young man, black or white or whatever, you volunteered to serve America. We were concerned not only with victory against fascism abroad, but we wanted to eliminate, we wanted to defeat racism home in America, double V. The USO is in many places, and the most fantastic place I went to from the USO was USO in its Times Square heyday in 1945. And it was open, black, white. If you were in uniform, class A or whatever, you were welcome. On bases where most of the USO facilities were, there was no distinction. You could come in uh, and the facilities were available for you. It was America, black, white, mixed. And uh, that was really momentous for me because the one thing that an enlisted guy knew was when he was treated royally. No distinction of race, no distinction of, of, of status or anything. And I have to give the USO credit for that. We had a tour, a voluntary tour sponsored by the USO. We all bundled up in our GI coats. Those were the ugliest but warmest coats. And as we were halfway up the walkway, an attendant came out to our tour director. And he whispered something in her ear. And there was around 30 of us. And I was the only person of color. She turned red, but she didn't say anything. And she said, boys, the schedule's postponed. We're going to come back again. But get back on the bus, and we're going back to the base. So we were getting back on the bus, and she said, the soldier, what's your name? I told her. She says, where are you from? I said, Boston. She said, well, I want you to come and sit with me. I sat with her, and of course my buddies, they were laughing because I had to sit up front with the tour director. She said, you know, I have a surprise for you. She says, when we get back to the base, we're going to play bingo. I said, oh Lord, bingo. I want to be back shooting pool with my buddies. So. What happened to me is something I'll never forget. She called my numbers on my cards and nothing happened. But then, at the time of the grand prize, she jumped up and shouted, oh, who be? Our caller has won the grand prize. And the grand prize was $10 and an electric shaving razor. Well, you know, black people can't use electric shaving razors. But as a sentimental gesture, I've kept that shaving razor for 20 or 30 years in memory of her. As I look back in life, I don't believe I really won statistically the grand prize when there were many people playing many cards. But when people ask me why I still support, why I 
volunteer every chance I get for the USO services because that lady did a lot for me from a spirit of understanding for a spirit of compassion. And that's what the USO has been to me and to all GIs from World War II, Times Square. Your USO is to serve you, and your USO is always there. And uh, that's what I felt. The USO was there. And this is why I'm involved and will be involved.